Hello, hi, it's me, Marcus. And today I'm on the server again, the Minecraft Future project uh, with the Feed the Beast Light mod pack. I'm um, just wait a second. Hi. Um, and today is a little bit of a special episode because I'm, um, how should I put this? On the Minecraft server, uh, there's pretty strict rules. And last time when I recorded, as you can see, I'm in a completely different location because I recorded a few videos with a friend of mine. Um, he's uh, also a YouTuber on this server and there's some German videos on his channel. But as I said, they're in German. And if you don't understand a word in German, you won't understand a word of the video. And yeah, so we built a quarry last time and I'm free to use it uh, because I helped building it, of course. And uh, so if I find diamonds in the quarry, I can keep them. But right now it's not on. So, yeah. Um, and the reason why I'm having this special episode is because I, in fact, did not record something. Um, all the recording was done by him. So I was just there talking and playing with him. And because there's this rule that says that you have to record as soon as you um, log on to the server, um, and I've uh, not really paid attention to this rule um, strictly up until now because I did some time-lapse videos and uh, stuff like that. So I cut stuff out and he said, well, it's not too, too bad. Um, you just have to make um, a so-called um, prison episode. And prison episodes are episodes that you have to uh, make if you did something wrong on the server. That means I have to uh, make one episode in this prison. You can see me walking to this um, obsidian building right there. That's the prison. And I just have to spend an entire episode inside of this prison. And let me just get in real quick. And all these words are uh, in German. So I think um, I have to plunk all my inventory in there. But um, I don't have anybody to get me out of the prison again. So I will real quick um, keep a lever. And well, actually, I'm just going to keep the lever, the lever or lever, depending on where I'm coming from, um, to get out again, because I think there's nobody that can get me out. And what I'm going to do is um, close the door from the inside like this. I think that's possible. Is it? No, is it not? Um, well, then just let's do it like this. All right. So I set the timer and the guy said, well, it's not too, too bad. Just to be like five minutes in there. And I'm going to take this as an opportunity to talk about the things that were on my mind and in the last few days. And it's like a vlog, but in Minecraft, in the Minecraft prison. So the timer starts now and let's go. So, um, well, a few updates to start with. I took my A levels in June, as I said. I were, um, well, as I said I was taking them before, and um, the, at this time I couldn't record a lot because I had to had a lot of stuff to do, and um, there was a lot of struggling for me. Well, first of all, there's something called uh, special topics. So for each subject you choose, you need to write, um, for the oral exams, you need to write a so-called special topic. And um, this special topic is about various kinds of stuff. Um, and you have to write it yourself and it's about 15 pages per subject. And it's a lot of work when you, um, uh, just wait a little second. I don't, uh, don't think so. I'm in prison. The <laughs> prison right now. Um, and the I had to take the uh, my A levels in five subjects because I failed uh, in my um, written exams, where I had to write uh, mathematics, German, and English. And I failed my German exam, so I had to have uh, English, German, mathematics, physics, and chemistry as a uh, oral exam. And just wait a little second. 
I'm gonna tell you afterwards in Skype. Smiley face. And yeah, so I took my A-levels and I made it on first try. So I was pretty surprised about that actually. And now I don't have anything to do in uh, up until fall because I thought that I would fail at least one subject. But this was not the case, so I have a free summer holiday, more or less, so I'm going to come to that later. Um, because actually, I signed up for university, and I signed up for computer science, and the special branch that I chose is called software and information engineering. And uh, now the only thing that stands in the way um, before starting the, uh, the, um, the study on the university is a, a, a conversation with a professor of this um, kind of computer science branch, whatever. And um, he tells me then if I'm qualified for that or not. And if everything goes right and I uh, didn't forget anything, uh, then I'm a, a student on the uh, computer science university in Vienna. And the thing is that in Austria, there's no qualifying qualifying entrance exams uh, whatsoever. There's just, as I said, this conversation about um, whether or not you're suited for the university. All right. So, as I said, now's um, July uh, or August, depending on when the video comes up. And there's a few things to do for me in the uh, summer holidays. A, a few personal things, not about um, the Minecraft series. For example, I'm I think I'm going to look for a flat, possibly, and I'm going to get my driving license or maybe find a job, uh, because right now um, I thought that I needed to go to the army to uh, serve my whatever it's called in English, because um, there's a special term for it in, for it in German. And normally um, you have six month, months in uh, the uh, Austrian army to serve. But um, I was going to, uh, um, there's a little check beforehand, um, whether or not you're um, uh, healthy enough to do that. And um, I w went there because of my uh, spine, um, they didn't take me. So I thought that I would have a bit more time for uh, looking for a flat um, when I was going to the army. But they uh, said they wouldn't take me. So um, I have to find a flat, a job and uh, something like this now and not in a year so that was a bit surprising for me but um there also is a lot of free time and what i want to do in my free time is obviously make some more videos and i found a cool trick um with the rendering because up until now the my videos weren't really frequent and the reason for that is that um, the rendering took so long and the reason for that is that I can't uh, use my graphics card for speeding up the rendering. I, I have to do it all with my process processor um, only. And there's a little trick because I'm recording with fraps and you can choose the uh, frames per second. Um, so I always use uh, 30, frames, 30 frames per second because it's a smooth recording and it's not as much as 60 frames per second um, hard disk wise. And when I uh, threw that into my um, Sony Vegas Pro 11 um, and I set it to the default settings for 30 frames per second, then I looked into the properties and it actually wasn't 30 frames per second, but 29.97. And when I um, clicked render to make the final product after cutting and it, uh, after cutting it, and then what was left uh, for the computer to do was kind of um, resize the frame rate from 30 frames per second to 29.97. Um, that actually mind, uh, might uh, sound um, like it's the same, but it takes a lot of time to render because of this little uh, thing that's not right. So if you manually uh, set your settings and not automate it to um, exactly 30 frames per second, um, it only takes like a quarter of the time to render. So usually when I had a 10 minute chunk of video, my computer was rendering like four hours and I have a pretty good computer right now. And that's a long, long, long time. And now it doesn't even take an hour, maybe just for 10 minutes 
20 minutes or half an hour um, if it's a, a graphically high uh, resolution video. And so that's that. Um, also, I'm going on a holiday uh, on a lake. I'm not going to tell you when because it's on the internet and it's dangerous even though there's always somebody at home. And I'm going there with my girlfriend and I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, probably the video is going up um, when I'm already back. So um, right now I can tell you that I was on a lake even though I wasn't. It's like time traveling through your own video. It's strange. And also uh, summer started. So that means that there's a whole lot of new anime. For example, I'm watching the second season of Sword Art Online um, right now. And if you're into anime, um, you don't know the the SAO, it's that short for Sword Art Online. Um, it doesn't actually have anything to do with swords right now. And it's about a guy and a girl that are stuck in a game um, with, with swords in the um, first uh, series, the first season, and they were stuck in a game and couldn't come out unless they beat the game, actually. And um, they were sent in the game with a, a strange kind of machine that uh, would kill you if you die in-game. Um, so it was a pretty exciting enemy, sorry for the uh, little burp. And now um, there's a second season because they saw, alright, they can make money off this. And um, it doesn't have anything to do with swords, and it's pretty much the same, but with guns now. It, the game is called Gun Gale Online, but the Season 2 is actually still called Sword Art Online 2. Um, also, there is a cool anime called Dramatical Murder that's coming out. I'm going to watch that later. And it also is based on a game, but like not a game in the anime, but an actual computer game that you can buy and download. It's also called Dramatical Murder, what a surprise. And um, maybe I'm going to watch that, but I haven't started right now. Um, many friends say that it's pretty good and I read about it on the internet. And of course, Naruto, um, uh, the, the second season has been going on for like a few years now, maybe seven years if I'm not mistaken. And now there's like the end near and um, there was always a few months where I didn't watch any episodes and then I got into it again because sometimes it got a bit boring because there's a lot of filler episodes and um, when you skip these you get the pretty exciting content and now that it's getting near the end it's really uh, tough fighting and exciting and I'm looking forward to it and I'm not sure what the outcome is so I'm pretty um, excited, ab excited about that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. And um, as I said, the guy I was playing with um, told me that I should um, be like five minutes in prison and everything will be fine. Um, but I was in prison for like, I think, 10 minutes now. So that's for the, uh, uh, the, the other stuff that I'm going to do. Um, also, I forgot to wear uh, these leather tunics, but I think I'll be fine. Um, how do I get out now? I think like this. Uh, yeah, that's right. Great. Um, now, let me get out and I'm going to show you um, what I found when I played uh, with my friend in the, the quarry stuff and when I helped him uh, build some geothermal generators. And I found a buttload of iron. I had like 26 iron ore on me and all the iron I had in my other series. Um, but then I fell into the lava and died horribly, so I lost um, about like 50 iron maybe, um, if that's correct. So I don't have any iron uh, in my main series as well. And um, I found some more copper maybe, a two, two iron or I have on me, and I think that's it. So I didn't find anything, but we built a nether portal, and I'm allowed to use the nether portal as well, because I have building it, and um, I... I think I died with the flint and steel, if I'm correct. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do next time um, is that we're going to look for something uh, what we can power the quarry with. And I think I'm going to use geothermal generators and electrical engine to convert the power to um, quarry usable power. And then I'm going to um, make a pump station in the nether and I still have to think of a way to get 
um, the lava or the energy directly from the nether to the overworld. And um, there is a few cool ways of doing this. And one example would be, let me just get the paper with the notes out of the way. <laughs> um, that would be a Tesseract. And um, building a Tesseract um, might not um, be too, too complicated, but uh, we would need a liquid Tesseract when we wanted to um, put the lava through it and to the overworld, or an energy Tesseract to uh, make build craft power and put it through. But I think I'm going to build a liquid Tesseract, but for that we need um, an unattuned Tesseract, and that's the hard stuff to do. The other ones aren't really too too bad, and this unattuned Tesseract is made by uh, using a liquid transposer. You need Molten Ender, for that you need a Magma Crucible, and the Tesseract frame is made by Hardened Glass, for that you need an Induction Smelter, and um, what was it called again? I think a Pulverizer, yep. And just, oh, alright, too late. And for that uh, we need also a diamond, and I don't have a diamond, we need a few bits and pieces of gold, and I think um, I'm allowed to use some redstone of the friend I was playing with last time, because the quarry, when it's up and running, should pump out loads of um, diamonds, redstone and iron, and also what I'm going to um, put up when I'm um, starting the series is a cobblestone generator, an automated one, because there's a cool mod in, um, installed that is called, let me just look it up what the item is called, Minion, uh, min Minium, mi min um, Shard of Minium, that's what drops off monsters, and with that we can craft a Minium stone, like this, and we can use, there's um, gold needed for that as well, and we can use this Minium stone to make cobblestone, let me just show it to you, cobblestone into flint, flint into, where is it, into clay, where's the clay, flint stuff, yeah, flint into clay, and the clay blocks into, where is it, into iron, and that's what we want, we want iron produced, and also we can uh, use um, eight iron to make one gold, and four gold to make one diamond, so basically we need um, like four stacks of cobblestone to make one iron ingot, and the minium stone doesn't get used up with every recipe, that would be insane. Um, but it has like a thousand five hundred and something charges, so you can use it for a thousand five hundred recipes. That's like, I, I don't know how many um, diamonds it would be, uh, but it's like ten diamonds when you do it with cobblestone, and that's a lot. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be using, the minium stone. And I'm going to build the cobblestone generator. Um, well. I think I'm going to build it um, after I recorded this, and I think I'm done for now. And thanks you guys for watching, and bye!